morning children and welcome back to yet another session well children today our lesson is return to god father's love this lesson is all about when we sin and how we go away from the father well children the season of lent is the best time to check on our lives and see how we are gone away from god and his love it is time for us to check our lives and return back to the father's love just like how the prodigal son remember the love of his father and return back to him in fact at the beginning of every eucharist we have the penitential rite yes which reminds us of our sins and to come back to the love of god our father there was a man who had two sons and the younger of them said to his father Father, give me the share of property that falls to me. And he divided his living between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took his journey into a far country. And there, he squandered his property in loose living. And when he had spent everything, a great famine arose in that country, and he began to be in want. So, he went and joined himself to one of the citizens of that country who sent him into his fields to feed swine he would gladly have fed on the pods that the swine ate and no one gave him anything but when he came to himself he said how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare but i perish here with hunger i will arise and go to my father and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was yet at a distance, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring the fatted calf and kill it. And let us eat and make merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, and is found and they began to make merry. To ponder. Could you give an example of how we too have behaved like this boy, asking for our share of the money and asking for a break of relationship with mummy, daddy or other older people at home? How do you think the boy came to realize that he has hurt God and his father? God is concerned about our well-being. God is our loving father and that is why he wants us to be happy because he wants our well-being and because he cares for us. He guides us and invites us to follow his will. He teaches us to do good and sometimes he gives us commands to show us what to do and we will do well to obey him. He invites us to pray to him and to love him. We will never be happy if we don't love God. That is why he tells us that off and on we must remember him and pray to him. Be it in the morning, noon or night, be it at home, in school or in church, we will be happy when we recognize that Jesus is our Lord and Master. God invites us to develop our own talents and to grow. He has filled us with his grace and blessings. 
he has given us so many talents we will be happy when we have grown in the use of our talents when we have grown as truthful persons children who can be trusted when we do our duties without being told sometimes it may be that we have to struggle to develop ourselves but that struggle is necessary and in the end it will make us happy god invites us to love others once again we will not be happy and at peace if we do not treat each other kindly love each other and forgive one and other that is why god tells us to live in peace with one and other sin is saying no to god's invitation of love when we deliberately tell god that we are not interested in following his invitation to take care of ourselves and of others then we say no to god and it leads us into a lot of unhappiness and misery this is what we call sin god loves us so much that when he sees that we are miserable because of our sins he feels the pain that we feel and he will try his level best to get us out of our sinfulness because it is bad for us he will invite us to get out of our sinfulness and in fact he will come after us to help us but we must get one thing clear we sin only when we deliberately decide to refuse god's invitation to be good when we make a decision willingly to do something that displeases god therefore there is no sin if there is no intention or if there is no awareness that what i am doing really displeases god if we make a mistake without wanting to that is no sin because i did not want to do it and i did not decide to do it if i stamp someone's toe by mistake it is not a sin god is a forgiving father we also need to believe that god will always forgive a sinner if he comes and says sorry to him god is a loving father and he is not only happy to forgive us but actually waits that we will give him, give up our sinfulness and come back to him he is waiting to save us with his forgiveness and pardon and we who commit sin so very often can always live in the hope that we can come back and say sorry to god for whatever wrong we have done we need not feel embarrassed or afraid to return to the lord means opening our hearts to him like the prodigal son this is called conversion it requires that we first come to our sense to realize that we have strayed away from god and we also need to decide to return to the father and say sorry times and seasons of conversion in the church we are given ample of opportunity to return to the father's love 
And as children preparing to receive First Holy Communion, we need to become aware of these opportunities so that before our First Communion, we prepare very well for our First Reconciliation. Children, whenever we go for Mass, at the very start, Father tells us, where the beginning of the Eucharist, He tells us, He invites us to say no to God. And how does He do that? He tells us to say pardon to the Lord. He says, My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mystery, let us call to mind our sins. And then we say the I confess. And after that, Father says, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And we respond, Amen. Then Father says, Lord have mercy. And we say, Lord have mercy. Then he says, Christ have mercy. We respond, Christ have mercy. Then he says, Lord have mercy. And again we say, Lord have mercy. Well, children, the season of Lent offers us 40 days to go back to God's love, to meditate on the love of God, to realize how far we have strayed from His love, and to take the courage to return to His love. We begin the season on Ash Wednesday, with ash imposed on our forehead to remind us to repent and believe in the gospel. The season is marked by the scrutinies during which, along with the other members of the Christian family in our parish, we will attempt to purify our hearts and convert to the Lord. We also prepare to celebrate our first reconciliation. Well, children, now we go on to the Word of God. Children, close your eyes, sit with your back straight, open palms on your lap, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out. A reading from the book of Luke, chapter 15, verses 20 to 24. So the boy got up and started back to his father. He was still a long way from home when his father saw him. His heart was filled with pity and he ran, threw his arms round his son and kissed him. Father, the son said, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. But the father called his servants. Hurry, he said, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and shoe on his feet. Then go and get the prize calf and kill it. And let us celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead, but now he is alive. He was lost, but now he has been found. And so the feasting began. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Children, I would like you all to imagine the scene. What do you think it, that the father felt about his son coming back? What do you think are the feelings of the father? What are the feelings of the son? Can you imagine that it is possible for you two to be embraced by God the Father? Can you imagine that God the Father loves you so much that he wants to put the best robe on you, put a ring on your finger, 
and a new shoes on your feet do you understand why he wants to do it for you tell god whether you understand or not why is he willing to treat you like that make a commitment to god children to seek his embrace in the sacrament of reconciliation now his elder son was in the field and as he came and drew near to the house he heard music and dancing and he called one of the servants and asked what this meant the servant said to him your brother has come and your father has killed the fatted calf because he has received him safe and sound but he was angry and refused to go in his father came out and entreated him but he answered his father lo these many years i have served you and i never disobeyed your command yet you never gave me a kid that i might make merry with my friends but when this son of yours came who has devoured your living with harlots you killed for him the fatted calf and he said to him son you are always with me and all that is mine is yours it was fitting to make merry and be glad for this your brother was dead and is alive he was lost and is found children you all saw the second part of the prodigal son where the elder son his reaction to the father do you think he understood why the father wants to reconcile with the younger son why do you think he fails to understand how his father treated his younger brother well children kindly ponder on this on these questions okay children now it's activity time now write a short letter to the elder brother to explain to him what you understood about reconciliation and the need for all of us to seek reconciliation write what you like most in the story of the prodigal son and make sure to send it to us today or during the week or latest by thursday so children i hope you'll had a lovely session and you'll enjoy my sessions and enjoy doing all your assignments thank you children have a good day and take care